YouTube family, my junk family, junk entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs, what up, though, what's going on? It's Mr. AMG. Um, quick video, man, just wanted to touch on why this may not be a good time to start a junk removal or a dumpster rental business, um, at least where I'm at right now. Um, now, again, take this with a grain of salt. I'm not saying you shouldn't. I'm just saying why this particular time at this moment, um, we're at the end of May going into June um, 2022. And as of right now, the city transfer station is closed, okay? They're closed to the public. They don't know when they're gonna be open. It's a lot of things going on. Um, it's really to a point where even myself, I called downtown um, trying to get answers. I've called the mayor's office um, and was just left on hold. Um, I really just want to get some clarification on what's going on. Um, being a small business owner and trying to grow a business, man, is already hard. Um, and then on top of that, dealing with these um, unnecessary uncertainties that's going on right now and can't get any clear answers as to what exactly is happening, how long will this be happening, um, is becoming a nuisance right now. All right, so um, if you're definitely in my area, and you thinking about getting started, man, you may want to pump your brakes a little bit because I'm explaining to you right now what's going on. All right, the city got a lot of stuff going on um, with this recycle program. They got a lot of things going on with uh, some construction and then just some other things where they blame the weather and things like that. They blaming drivers quitting um, that's taking the trash out to the landfills. They blaming the landfills uh, for being under new, manage under new management not running it properly like the previous uh the previous regime whether that's true or not these are all things that i'm just hearing and um a lot of it's not making any sense i mean because when it rains i get it the roads are terribly bad and stuff like that so i can't see it when the rain happens but all of this other stuff that's going on one minute they're open uh, a whole day the next minute they're not they're open for four hours they're open for three hours it's just a hit and miss now i remember when i first started doing this i was riding over there and i was actually um getting turned around <laughs> excuse me y'all but i was getting turned around and it was it was a headache then okay um so it but it just wasn't as bad as it is right now all right they were we just came off of like a two week then a month now we back at it again. I mean, what's really going on? I, I really don't know. If you're in my area, drop a comment. If you know something, please let me know. For the most part right now, everyone's getting rerouted again to another local transfer station. But they have one scale, all right, and one line. They have three bays. They're dealing with their bread and butter come from the, from the bigger dumpster companies. All right, um, I've spoken to one of the head guys here when I went to, uh, when I wanted to set up an account when I first started, I wanted to figure out what my numbers needed to be at. And um, he looked at my numbers and told me I'm off by just a little bit for me to be able to, you know, set up an account with them or whatnot. Um, but he specifically, you know, he, uh, he told me, uh, you know, clearly that he'll rather deal with, let's just say 10 high volume companies than to deal with a lot of smaller companies and I can't blame them for that because if I could make a uh, hundred K off of 10 people versus needing to make it off of a hundred people, I'm going for the 10 people. All right. Simple math right there. Um, but right now it's causing a big issue, man. So another thing that's going on right now, which is why you may want to, you know, think twice about jumping into it. If you're thinking about it now, the lines are super long with this rerouting thing. All right. I've been in line right now, let's just say about 45 minutes, all right? And I'm creeping up to the front. I'm pulling up now. You can see it. Um, this line is ridiculous, all right? It's damn near at the end of the entrance, and it's like an S-shape when you come down. So I, it's a long entrance now. And um, I'm just, I'm probably about, man, I'm not good with, 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 with feet and all that, man. I'm probably a good hundred yards from where I need to be. I don't know, man. I'm pretty, pretty dang far and then creeping up, man. Ain't, ain't getting it done. So you're going to have to deal with that. All right. I have a rental to go take care of um, after I clean this out. Keep in mind now, 
with Cleveland being shut down, all right, is rerouting people to other landfills, okay? So that messes up your travel time. You got to take that in the, in the factor now because at this rate, I mean, to be honest, I can average four dumps. Four dumps. I haven't done five in a day yet. Three is normal. But at this rate, I mean, two. Two is going to be the new normal. So that means I'm going to have to you know, re retweak some things and, and, and redo some things, man. I have to get on a much tighter schedule. I mean, I have to start much earlier. So you're going to have to do the same thing. Um, so if you're thinking that you can just go knock out this job, this job, this job, and be dumping and be dumping and be dumping, yo, it ain't happening like that right now. Not sure when it's going to happen, but I'm just saying at this present moment, it's not happening. Hopefully they get things back together. Um yesterday <laughs> for real i'm hoping they get things back together yesterday because this is this is becoming a problem right here a real problem man um also on top of that another thing that you may want to think about if you're going to start dumpster rental or junk removal in my area right now is whether or not you're going to be hand unloading because they cut off at 12 for hand unloading so that just cut your hours all the way down i think they close at three that, that just cut your hours down even more because now you can't hand them low past 12. So you definitely can't get three loads, not three nice size loads if you have to hand unload, man. So I know all my hand unloaders out there um, is definitely feeling it right now, man. And I empathize with you, man, because, you know, we out here to we out here to take care of our families and make some money, man, and just try to live. Um, live the best way the best that we can out here man and just provide for ourselves man and with all these unnecessary things going on man it's just it's it's an inconvenience right now man so uh keep your head up stay strong man and uh just keep your ear your ear to the streets and, and see if you can get a get a timeline on what's going on and when, when things are supposed to change um Cause this is ridiculous. I mean, can you imagine right now, man, for anybody out there that's doing junk removal and dumpster rental, averaging one to two dumps a day, going from probably five to two, let's just say five to two, four to two, four to one, however it may be, you're reducing your dumps by maybe two due to the fact that, yo, you might pull up and look like you can get on the scale, but the line is so ridiculous that now by the time you get up to the scale, Either you ran out of time because it's time for them to close and they're taking nobody else. They're not taking anyone or you can't beat the 12 o'clock deadline because you have to hand unload. So now you really lose again. It's, it's, it's really, really bad, man. It's really, really, really bad. So uh, this video was just about for the people in my area. I'm not even sure about your area. Check your area, too, to see what's going on. Again, one of my other videos, I'm calling it the, 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 the great trash crisis of 22, man, because it is it's really, it's really just a pain right now to have to not know whether or not another place is open and have to reroute to another place. And it's not even about the money. It's just more so about the travel time and, and just scheduling things like that, man. Because, again, I have to make sure I'm not over scheduling because somebody's waiting on a container today and then I can't get it clean. So um, I, I got to I, I have to reevaluate things even more as I continue to go forward. Um, and you should do the same. It doesn't matter if you're here or there. Always keep 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 an eye on your, your transfer stations your landfills and make sure everything is operating properly with them because if they slow up of course you're going to slow up and if they stop you stop and I mean one of the, the worst things you can do is have people waiting on you for a container especially if they already paid and um, you can't come through um, you can't come through. Now, the benefit of this is that one of the benefits of this is that even if you can't come through, customers I'm dealing with right now understand this. They can't even, they they can't just get other companies out. We're all experiencing this. So somebody might have a clean container, but they may not. 
So, I mean, customers do understand. Keep communication with your customers and let them know um, that, yo, it's a big thing going on. If you are facing an issue with the transfer station landfills, let your customers know up front that, you know, your, your goal is to deliver that day, but it may be the following day. All right. Uh, I'm going to tap back in with y'all later, man. Keep y'all posted, at least the people in my area and anybody else out there that just want to know what's going on in this junk removal dumpster in the world. We all a part of it right now. Um, cause you know, it, it, it could be happening here, but, um, it could be a trickle effect where it may be happening where you're at too, at some point. All right. So I'm gonna check y'all out on another video, man. Y'all stay safe, stay strong. Uh, keep your head up. Keep getting at it, man. All right. Check y'all out later. Peace.